Hey everybody, hope that you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day, that your week has gotten off to a good start. We are continuing our look through John. We're in chapter 12. We're going to do half of 12 today and the other half tomorrow. It's a longer chapter. And the story starts out with Jesus going over to Martha and Mary's home. And Lazarus is there, who Jesus has raised from the dead. And they're having a dinner party. They're welcoming Jesus. He's their good friend. They love one another. And while they're there, Mary takes a bottle of perfume and pours it all over Jesus' feet, rubs it with her hair, and Judas is irate because, in his opinion, it's a waste of money. But John kind of editorializes that and says, well, he really wasn't upset that the poor couldn't have the money. It was the fact that he had the money and he was taking from it. And Jesus said, this is for my burial. This is what's going to happen. You're anointing me now. And, and what she poured on Jesus was really worth about a year's worth of wages. So figure whatever you would make in a year that you took that and poured it on someone. It was a huge act of sacrifice from Mary. It smelled up the whole house. You can imagine how it would smell and the fragrance. And, you know, and a lot of people there might have thought, well, that's pretty wasteful. You could have used that for the poor. You could have used it for your retirement fund. But she was so blessed with Jesus being in her presence, listening to him, calling him Lord and Messiah, my Savior, that she couldn't help it. And I guess the question for us is, how do we act when we are awestruck by Jesus? Not, not by things of the world, but by Jesus. Do we just kind of slough it off? Oh, yeah, that was a good day. That was a good worship. Oh, that was a good whatever. And we move on. Or do we just stop and just kind of bathe? in the beauty and the power of what has happened. That's really what we should do. I struggle with that personally because I'm that A-type personality where, okay, I did this, now I've got to get up and go on to the next thing and then go on to the next thing and then go on to the next thing. So I just want to encourage you. Encourage myself as well. When you have those moments, if you can, can you just stop? Ah, deep breath. Relax. Take it in. Enjoy the moment that you're experiencing the spirit, the power, the presence of your Lord. Can you do that? Have a great day, and God bless you.